Now, Azapel has launched a petition calling for the arrest of those who were implicated in state capture. Almost 1,500 people uh, were looked into, but no one was arrested. Why is that? Joined by Azapel is Kekoletso Kana this morning making time for us. Uh, Kekoletso, good morning. And why do you think no one has been arrested despite so many people being dragged into the commission? Thank you so much for having us and good morning to you and uh, the viewers. I think, um, you know, we lament the state um, of the NPA. And the truth of the matter is that uh, Bajoy has really failed the country. Uh, we spent billions on, on this commission. Um, information, you know, documents, evidence was provided to the NPA and all they needed to do was do proper further investigations and prevent, present the case. Uh, to the courts and you can see even with the nulani case they completely bungled that one i mean you listened to the judge and he says the, the, she says the truth of the matter is that we are here because the case was totally bungled so the the issue is with the npa it's either they do not want to or they are totally inept um which we believe is the case which case do you believe it is inept or unwilling inept I think they are completely inept, um, but also I think there is some influence um, coming from the top that ensures that um, people are not being held up to account because it cannot be that we have seen, we have all seen it, we have seen the evidence that implicates people and yet we are unable to put together a case. It can only be that there is an ineptness within the NPA, but also maybe uh, largely influence that says that people should not be should not be prosecuted because we cannot justify why we are sitting in this place today. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this petition uh, for a moment because I think many people would agree with you over four years, one billion rand uh, in excess of uh, one billion rand, some say, uh, for the uh, commission of inquiry into state capture. So when we talk about this petition that uh, you're calling for people to, to be a part of, 1,438 people implicated. I'm just seeing that at the bottom of the screen. That's the exact number. Are you calling for everybody implicated to be investigated? Is it certain people? If you want people to be part of the petition, what exactly are you asking them to be a part of? We are asking people to be a part of a petition that forces the state to prosecute people who have ensured an entire drain of our fiscus. Um, so all of those people who are implicated must be investigated. We know who, uh, you know, what evidence we have. So why have we not, why are people not in jail? Why are we bungling up cases? So we are asking people to join us to force the state to do something and to arrest people, to investigate, to arrest and convict. Because it's one thing, I mean, we've seen that taking people to court is just one aspect of it. There needs to be convictions. It cannot be that billions of our, of our money has gone missing and yet we can't just put one person, at least not even one person has been convicted. This is ludicrous. Uh, so uh, there's an argument, I'm sure you'll be aware of it, Kekaletso, as well, that uh, convictions are a problem in our courts in this country because the wheels of justice just turn so slowly as well. So as you say, it's one thing to be arrested, quite something else to be convicted as well. What's the criticism of yours then uh, when it comes to our justice system, our courts uh, in, the, in our country? Where's the problem there, do you think? Um, ineptness. It's quite simple. We have an inefficient state. Every single department, be it the justice system, be it the police, we have an inefficient state. And I think it's about time we as the citizens are telling the state that you're actually failing us and we need you to do better. We need you to better train your people. We need you to hire qualified people. We need you to hire people that are willing to do the work. If people are not doing the work, like Batoyi, for instance, she has a mandate and she has not fulfilled that mandate because look at the state of the NPA. And I'm these are big cases. If we are bounding up big cases like this, God forbid what is happening in the lower courts. Mm, should the head of the NPA be replaced? Absolutely. For who, do you think? Uh, with the state being, I, I, you know, honestly speaking, I'm, we, we, we are, it would be a very hard find at this point. Um, but I do believe that we need to start right at the bottom and start looking and retraining our people because at, at this point, I really cannot see anyone um, that has the capability to be able to deliver. Uh, remember when Batoi was brought in, we were assured that this was the cream of the crop in terms of the people who would be able to put the NPA into shape. And to this day, she has not delivered. 
uh, on, on the mandate that she has been given. The truth of what we know in South Africa is that we are busy um, hiring people that uh, do not have the capability to deliver uh, on anything. Uh, our ministers are not able to deliver. Uh, the, the public service is in shambles. So we need an entire overhaul of the system. We need an entire overhaul of the state, uh, starting with the president all the way to the bottom. And I imagine this as a last question to you, uh, Kekaletso, uh, the justice minister, Ronald Lamola, uh, falls into this as well. Should he be replaced? With, with who? Um, Justice Ramula should be replaced and hopefully with someone with a lot more in that. Um, Azapo definitely has legal minds um, that have the capability to be able to run this country. Um, and I think we deserve a chance to be able to show our people what it is that we are able to do, the systems that we can put in place, people who are willing to do the work, people who are committed to growing this country, people who are willing um, to make this country work. Because we have seen that the ANC has failed our people and continues to fail our people. Um, 29, 30 years later, we are still having to deal with issues that were an issue. The justice system was always an issue long before they took over. It has not changed. The actual fact has become worse. So we are asking people to say, remove the entire state, change the entire state as it is, and replace it with people who are willing to do the work. There are South Africans in this country um, who are willing to do the work, who are committed to growing this country, who are ensuring that we, uh, we have service delivery. All of those people are not making it into the limelight because they are not willing to be told what to do. They do the right thing. And if you are one of those people that are doing the right thing, you are always going to sit in the shadows somewhere. And as you can see, as I was sitting in the shadows, it is not by design. It is by default because we all know if we did take over the country, if we are given the opportunity to run the country, it will be run to the benefit of our people and in particular, the marginalized black people of our country. And I appreciate your time in joining us, making some very good points, a widely held argument that not much has come out of the uh, State Commission of Inquiry into State Capture. I'm sorry, the Commission of Inquiry uh, into State Capture. And I was uh, very keen to get the thoughts of Azapo this morning. Kekaletso uh, Kenna joining us uh, this morning. You agree, disagree? Has the whole thing been a complete failure, a waste of money? Should there be more people, not just implicated, but more people uh, behind bars? We'd love to get your thoughts. You can tweet us. Uh, it's at ENC.